Buying bedding, securing truckloads of food, setting up temporary shelters. We're just going to every uh, store that we can and just buying out all the mattresses. This is what daily life looks like for the Martz family in western Ukraine. It's very, um, I would say, very, very chaotic. They're from British Columbia and have lived in Ukraine for less than a year, but are staying put to help respond to a country under siege. I can't imagine leaving knowing that we can do something and and we're just going to go just because we're scared. Um, this is just one of the examples of uh, refugees that have been coming to the house. So. They've turned their home and others into safe havens for refugees and orphans. <laughs> they say their not-for-profit has provided food and care for roughly 40,000 people across the country in the past week, including areas hard hit. Resources are becoming more and more difficult to come by and uh, the other provinces closer to the east are really struggling with being able to provide even food for themselves. Charities in Canada are trying to fill that void, flying over emergency field hospitals that will eventually look like this, along with Canadian doctors and nurses. We are prepared to respond for um, complex surgeries if there are um, critical wounds. With the challenges of sending aid immense, Ukraine's airspace is closed, communication spotty, and some regions hard to reach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This Ontario-based charity has Canadians on the ground in Ukraine and is sending these medical supplies to Lviv. There are so many areas that are under attack. It's very hard for us to move in areas like that. The Martz family says the crisis is only growing and hope Canadian support does too. Everybody's just got to try to do the best that they can to stop what's happening here because it's real and it's difficult. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.